Hello, this video is a demonstration to learn how to use Elastic for image annotation and manual correction. I choose to use in this video the spheroid image as an example, where the manual annotation task is very difficult due to the high density of cells, the low intensity, and the touching cells. So let's see how we can do this task using Elastic. The first step is to open Elastic and to choose the project to create our new project. In our case, we are interested in the pixel classification. So once we click on pixel classification, we will have to save a new project. We can name it annotation and then save it. After saving the project, another interface will open. We will start first with feeding Elastic with the input data. We can add new data here. So we can add separate image or we can add sequence of 3D and 4D volumes. Here, we'll use only separate image. And then we can choose our image. With Elastic, we can use any format of image, TIFF, PNG, or JPEG. But the best format compatible with Elastic is H5. It's H5 format. So we'll choose one of the H5 images and open them in Elastic. After opening this image, we have next, to select the features to be used. Because Elastic is based on shallow learning method, it uses the random forest algorithm. And so we have to choose some features to be learned and then to be used in the pixel classification for annotation. Let's select some features. We have several type of features. We have the color features, we have the edge features and we have the texture features. So we can choose all of them or we can select <clears throat> one or two types of them depending on our data. So uh, for this case, I will choose all of these and also I will add the size of 15 here. We can add another size of kernels and we can select some sizes. For example, here I will choose 10 and 15. Sure, the size of the kernel depends on the details in, in our data and the, the region that we want to annotate. So after selection of this, we can see here the results of the uh, filters on, on, on the orange original image. So we can see here the blur applied to our image. We can here see the edges. And also finally, we can see some of the texture features. So now let's pass to the training step where we will start the annotation. The annotation here is very easy. It's like do, doing painting and we can just select some regions using the cursor. So we have here by default two classes, two labels. Let's select the first one as the background and the second one as cells. Also, we have the possibility to add more labels, more classes by add, by clicking on the add label. So here I will use only two classes, so I will not need the third class. After that, you can start doing your annotation by changing the size of your cursor here. Let's start for large size of cursor for the background, for example. And then we can just choose small size for the regions between the cells. We have to make sure that we are selecting or annotating all the instances that we have inside the image. This means for these cells, we have to annotate all the variants of the intensity that we could have inside our image. For example, let's say like that. In the case, if we do some mistakes, for example, we annotate the background for the label of cells, we have the possibility to choose here the eraser and we can erase the annotated default annotation. After that, we can click on light update to start the training of the model based on the annotation that we did and to see the result. 
In this small window here, we can see different options. So we have here the labels. We can activate or disactivate the visualization of the labels. We can see the uncertainty of the model. We can see the segmentation map of the background only, the segmentation of the cells, and also the prediction and the row input. So let's stop here the live update and let's check the result of the segmentation by checking the segmentation here. So here we can see that we have the segmentation of the image that we choose. Let's go to the prediction export. So we have possibility to export our prediction. So here we can choose what we want to export to our computer, the probability map, the simple segmentation or the incentivity. We can also upload or export the features and the labels. So for us, I will choose only the segmentation, sample segmentation, and then I will choose the click on the choose export image settings to adapt the settings because here our image, our labels one and two, if you want to export them to our computer in eight bit format, we have to renormalize our data from one to two to zero to 255. For the output file, we can choose between several types. So here I will choose, for example, PNG file, and then the location of the fold of the output image will be at the same folder where we have the input data by clicking OK. So let's part now to the batch processing mode. Here we can apply the trained model on all the other images that we have. So we can select raw data. We have uh, our raw data here. We have all three images and we can select them all and open them and click on process all files. In this case, this image will be annotated, segmented, and then will be saved in the same folder where we have the original image. So let's go and check them. For example, for the first image here, we have the annotation. For the second image and for a third image. And here we have, for example, to visualize the image, the original one, we can see the result of annotation. So we can see from this annotation that we have touching cells and we have cells that was not well segmented. So let's see how we can correct manually these touching cells. So to do that, just let's first save this project and then click on close. We have to open a new project, save it the same place where we have the first project, we can save it as correction and open this new project. To do the correction of the annotation, we have to select the same file, the same image that we loaded before. Let's say, for example, we want to correct the third image. So we have to load the third image here, which is the image six. For example, we have this image here. We can then pass to select the features. We can choose any features because in our case, we'll not learn the model again. Just to do this step, we can select randomly the features, pass to the training. This step will not do annotation and training, but what we want to do is to correct the labels. So first we have to export the labels import the labels. So here we import the labels. We already have the segmented image of this, the image six. We have the sample segmentation. So we export them. And then we choose, for example, for the zero value in the, in the segmentation map, they will be the label one. And the 255, they will be the label two, for example. So now after exporting them, we have these new labels where we can start doing 
the manual correction. So here by changing this bar here, we can change the transparency of the image and labels. So let's see, we can then, for example, we have this. So for, for this task, we can just come to our data. We can zoom by cl clicking on control button of the keyboard and scrolling the wheel of the mouse. And then we can correct the, can change the size and start doing the separation of the cells, for example. Sure. Before doing this step, we have to make sure that we select the best annotation strategy before the learning of our model to have the best segmentation and to facilitate the manual correction task. So let's say, for example, here that I was doing the manual correction, we have some cells that was not all segmented, so we can add we can correct the segmentation of them, for example, here. Let's say here. OK, so I will stop now. And then after this manual correction of the labels, So now we can export these labels as the final annotated annotation map by export. We renormalize again between one and two, and then we can choose the format of the labeled image, and then we can select where we want to save them. So let's say we save them in the same folder labels as labels six okay and then we can go to check them so our image here this is the segmentation for example from the first try of annotation and this is the correction map after after the manual correction so we can see that we can enhance the quality of our annotation simply using elastic thank you very much